so proud that Skidstar is now an official sponsor of SK Gaming. Your time is up, my time is now. now. Let's roll. Hey guys, Maxime here. As you might already know, a Dust 2 remake, just like Inferno and Nuke, is on its way, and I'm really looking forward to it. It would be interesting to see if they make any major changes to the current version, apart from, you know, giving it a new look. So in this video, I'm going to talk about 5 things that I would change on Dust 2 when the remake comes out. If they decide to change at least one of these 5 things in the remake, then I'm a happy guy. Keep in mind, these changes are my personal opinions. So if you disagree or agree, make sure you post a comment about it and let me know. I'm simply giving out my thoughts on what could be nice to change. So the first thing I would change is make these doors easier for wall banging. Before the metal was introduced in July 2014, they were actually made out of wood and they looked like this. This made it almost too easy to wall bang. So I understand that Valve wanted to make this change to make the map more balanced. However, I think it's too much. Wall banging should be respected. It increases the skill gap. I don't mean changing the doors back to wood again, but I would change it so that it's easier to wall bang with the M4, M4 silencer, and maybe just a little bit with the AK. The second thing I would change is remove some of the cars on the map. Most of the cars on the map are fine, but specifically the one on B and the ones on Long are very clumsy and annoying. Most players avoid walking near them because they know that it feels wrong, they're unreliable, you can't move properly on the model. Please Valve, don't put models like this on your remake. If you remove the cars, it feels clean, especially on long I noticed. It's important for the map to breathe, to be more open and straightforward. And a fun fact, you can still boost here to hold long. The third thing I would change has to do with this area called closet. This area should be safer and easier to hide in. Closet had such a good impact on 1.6, but in the current version of CSGO, it feels like they removed its charm. As an example, I added another crate on top of the first one. I really believe this would improve the map and make it more interesting, especially in after plant scenarios. The fourth thing I would change is this here. Have you ever tried boosting someone up here just to find out that it's not possible? I would make it possible. Because even if you're up there holding short or long, you're still taking a risk because someone has to boost you. If the CTs don't push, you won't see them and you can barely see middle doors. I would love it if the remake had a boost spot like this where you can keep one of your guys to defend middle. The fifth and last thing I would change is the back part between middle and B. It can feel a bit awkward when retaking B side from outside because it's cluttered with models and props. I made an example here to show my point. First off, I would remove this part of the construction site, which means you have more room now on the right side. Secondly, I would adjust the stone pillars to make them higher so it actually becomes a decent position to hold middle from, and it's not too powerful or anything like that, it's still very open as you can see. Lastly, I would remove this pole and the two planks here. This makes contact from both window and middle less confusing and much more clear. This is what I mean by open and clear and overall I think this is a pretty good change. But the point being that it's important to be able to move freely without having to meddle with models and props that are in the way. I mean seriously, these pillars in my opinion are too low in the ground so either use them or you don't. So those are the 5 things I would change on Dust 2. Let me know what you think about these changes, I'll see you guys in the next video, go bananas.